So how can you tell if somebody is on real Xanax as opposed to if they're abusing Xanax or, or even getting fake Xanax? Hello everybody, my name is Pej. I'm a drug interventionist. I specialize in helping people with addiction, alcoholism, and mental health disorders. Today we're going to talk about Xanax, the difference between real Xanax and fake Xanax. Well, what is Xanax in the first place? So Xanax is originally made for people. It's a benzodiazepine in helping them uh, overcome anxiety to try to calm their nerves. It is prescribed to certain people for certain disorders, certain issues that they may be having. It is you know, known to be something that people take to take the edge off. Fake Xanax, however, is it's out there. It's definitely obtainable. A lot of people are getting it, especially the youth. A lot of youngsters that are experimenting with drugs think that they're buying Xanax off of the internet, sometimes the dark web, sometimes in various outlets, depending on where they're getting it from. They don't know what they are getting. It is not. It is not real Xanax. A lot of times it is cut with fentanyl. This is real. It may look like it, it may appear like it. Sometimes it might have flakes inside of it, but you know, a regular Xanax bar is usually a long well, white Xanax, like a, a pill type of thing to where it's got layers like cut into it. And um, you know, a lot of kids refer to them as Xanny bars, but the stuff that's out there, sometimes it's replicated. It looks a lot like it, but it's not real. If people are trying to obtain Xanax off the streets, through the plug, through the drug dealer, uh, through Craigslist or um, the dark web or however that may be, more often than none it is not the real product. They shouldn't be getting that anyway because it's not prescribed to them, but they do that not really knowing what they're in for because often if the Xanax is cut with fentanyl it becomes lethal, it becomes deadly and um, a lot of different types of experiences can happen. A lot of episodes can come out of that. People do things that they do not recollect. Uh, people get themselves into a lot of trouble. Sometimes people put themselves in positions where uh, extremely dangerous situations can present themselves. Therefore, uh, the type of uh, so-called Xanax that's out there that people claim to be Xanax is not really real. And um, this could put somebody's life and other people's lives in turmoil. So how can you tell if somebody is on real Xanax as opposed to if they're abusing Xanax or, or even getting fake Xanax? Often uh, certain things will happen. If a person takes regular, a, a regular amount of Xanax, the edge is taken off. And that's somebody who's prescribed uh, with Xanax and it's temporary, but they feel a lot more better, they're at ease. But if somebody's actually going out and obtaining fake Xanax or they're abusing Xanax, often it will put them into a dizzy spell, like to the point where they are uh, not coherent, they're passing out. They'll take it in excess often, you know, whether it be real, whether it be fake, but the real Xanax that's out there that they're taking, if they're abusing it, um, they will not be normal. They, there's nothing normal about them. They, they may be passing out all over the place. Uh, the fake stuff, other things can happen. They can start to act out. They can do things that are out of the ordinary, not normal. They may uh, try to get behind the wheel of a car and uh, completely be annihilated to the point where uh, they can cause a car accident. They run into things. They're not in their right mind, so they'll act a certain way, be a certain way, do certain things that, that are very suspect. Like you, you see them and you know this isn't the normal person that we usually see. What are they on? You can pretty much tell if they're loaded on this stuff, like uh, the fake Xanax that's out there. So if you or somebody you know is suffering from Xanax abuse or uh, has experienced any kind of fake Xanax usage, you can always call us. You can uh, reach out to me. I would be, a, you know, I'd make myself available for you at any given time to be able to help people that are suffering with Xanax or fake Xanax that is out there.